to it. This is James Ingle for Get Your Rock Out, and I'm with the Apollo guys. How are you? Good, good man. Well, yeah, very, yeah, good. very well, yeah. How did you find your set earlier? Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Absolutely man. awesome, yeah. We, we were kind of warm because we've been on tour for the yeah. past four days with uh, now Voyager, who played just after us yeah. on the second stage. So, um, yeah, it just felt really good. And our, the crowd was really good as well. So, yeah, yeah. We, were, we only were added to the bill like a week ago, so... We're just pleased to have been invited and yeah, come and like play, see some bands and have a good good time. Yeah, that's cool. How was the tour of Now Voyager? Like, everyone, like, I, I, this weekend, like loads of bands have just been doing tours, and then like Texas has been the last show. Yeah, yeah. So it's been like a party atmosphere, like the yeah, last show yeah. of the tour, and then like, yeah, how's it been so far? Awesome. It's been good, man. But, like today, today's pretty like pretty much the last show of the tour that we've had together. Yeah. Uh, we're both playing separate shows tonight as well, so. But yeah, it's been good. Um, a lot of new new faces, like cause we we have different fans, so you know, sharing our fan base with one another. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a good good little tour, man. Yeah, London was a rager as well. We had the wedding yeah. night. Yeah. And got to catch been, up yeah. with a load of old friends and yeah. And like they're an amazing live band, so it really sort of pushed us to up our game a little bit. Yeah. Going on after it was a bit like oh. Yeah, 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 it's trying out to each other. Yeah, it's good competition. Yeah, very much so. But we we were saying to each other we're probably the the best fit with each other. Like on it, like for both of us, we'd say we were the best match on a tour out of any tour that we've done. We are very different, but we have the same sort of uh, approach. Yeah, same sort yeah, of yeah. approach to playing and writing and things like that. So it, it definitely came across. It was nice. Sweet. And where are you off to tonight? Like, you're <coughs> show tonight. We're supporting Devil Sold His Soul and oh, like sweet. playing with a load of our friends' bands as well at Roadmender in Northampton. All right, yeah. it's like uh, all day, yeah. Sort of thing, so. yeah. So it's happening right now, and then yeah. we're, gonna we're playing at quarter to eight. So yeah. just turn up like Stephen. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then of course we're coming back tomorrow to watch Sick. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yes. So many bands. Like, that's, oh, that's what yeah. everyone is talking about. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. as great as the lineup is, it's it's literally boring down to Sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Like, they, like them at this festival is a perfect match. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's perfect. Perfect. yeah. If they weren't a band, then this wouldn't be a festival. Yeah, that's yeah. so, <laughs> so, so true. true. <laughs> Genuinely. So, very true. What do you think of the lineup as a whole, like, the whole weekend? It's really good. I mean, we're on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no, but I mean, in terms of uh, diversity, it's not just straight up tech. Yeah. There's, a, you know, there's some, like, more metal. You've got metal. John Gom. you got I mean, John, yeah, John yeah, Gom. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be yeah, awesome, so. man. Still got techers. Yeah, got yeah. Still got full on techers. But yeah. like, yeah, banging. Really, really, really good. And the, the new layout this year is pretty cool as well. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys play last year? Uh, no, no, but um, I had some friends yeah, yeah. the last one and they said it was, uh, it was a massive improvement. Yeah, nice. and it's good that it's broadening, like, not just sticking to like the whole um, gen like, scene. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marching out, like, definitely. Good. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. The ocean of layers are, they're fucking. Yeah, like, they're ridiculous. <laughs> Just prog, yeah, just straight up prog. And like the UK, there's like so many small festivals like he's popping up. Like it's it's important for like people to come out. Yeah, to yeah. Because, yeah, big time. Like as good as the big ones are, this would, like allows like maybe smaller bands to get uh -huh. more playing time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. And of course, like <laughs> bands cheap, like cheaper tickets as well. Yeah, like, yeah. two hundred and twenty quid a pop. Yeah, and exactly. More people turn up that couldn't necessarily go to a festival before. Yeah. And then, like with this festival, you've got actual showers and like proper yeah, toilets yeah, rather exactly. than like shitty and... and everyone's really nice and on time. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, have to say, I have to say that because uh, um, when we went to the stage, the guy was like, "Oh, like you can load in." We were like, "Oh, I've already loaded in." And he was like, "Oh, brilliant!" You know, like everything is really well organised. But I think yeah. that's just tech heads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm they're not on being, time. I'm not being yeah. like derogatory, but yeah. like, yeah, yeah, they're on time. Yeah, yeah, what do you think of the atmosphere? Like, it's it's really good. I mean, we only turned up at like two in the morning last night. We played in Tunbridge Wells and then we drove here like for like three hours. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we had some friends of ours here. But when we turned up at like two, there were still people kicking around and having yeah. some beers and that. So that yeah, nice. we hadn't been here five minutes and the guitarist or someone from that band, Alea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're like, can we scrounging beer? beers off us? <laughs> like, oh, okay. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so so it <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah, suppose like, you guys weekend. are from yeah. Chicago, yeah, yeah. so yeah. we can give them a Fosters, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are running a pledge campaign at the moment. Like, how's yeah, it we're going? Going. yeah, it's good. It's good. Like, how's the like new album coming? Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. coming along. Nicely, it's happened. Yeah. yeah, and it's quite. It's really interesting uh, time for us because uh, it took us two years to release our full length album. Yeah. And before we released it, we went back into the studio and recorded some other like a full EP of tracks that. 
we were writing at the time. So we uh, through the pledge thing, we were able to release that music like instantly, so people can hear that. We're, we're essentially doing it as a free EP with every pre-order of the second album. All right. So you instantly get like six new tracks. Yeah, and then another twelve when the album comes out. Yeah. yeah so, so we're trying a, to just like get like as much of our songs, songs out there. Eighteen songs for about eight quid. Yes, yeah, that's that's a bargain. Yeah, right? it is. It is. And it's, yeah. yeah, people are supporting it, getting behind it. You can pick up shirts on there, and like we just got a bit of everything on there. Yeah. So. But how do you? How important do you think Pledge is now these days for like, for like, up and coming bands? I think it's really important. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because the music industry has changed so much, and that's one thing that is, uh, it's that whole thing of breaking down the boundaries between band and fan. Yeah. That thing. This idea of a direct to fan approach is yeah, uh, it's refreshing. And it makes it so much more personal as well. Because the pe- like, we're uploading demos as we're writing the album, so it's sort of like. You're involved. You're involved yeah. in it. Do you know what I mean? You hit, it, you, you're you seeing it take shape along with us. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. It's sort of. I get to experience like a bit of what, what you're experiencing. And that sounds like, a bit yeah. wanky and ego. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But we do care about our music. But it's just a good way, essentially, for us to like get the people who do support our band all in one place and yeah, and get them a shitload of music. Yeah. And sweet. And um, what can we expect from the new album in terms of like direction? So many descriptive yeah, yeah. words. Yeah. yeah, so many descriptive words. It's still gonna sound like us. I don't know. It's it just keeps it's getting. Definitely. It just keeps getting more and more refined. Yeah, it's like, the first album we've written with this lineup. Yeah, well. and the new drummer. Sweet. <laughs> how's it? How's it been? Like. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. I've like, been waiting to get out in a touring band for a long time, and uh, it just sort of clicked, doesn't it? First yeah, practice, yeah. we were nailing off songs. Yeah. I mean, I've I've known these guys for years anyway, yeah. so just sort of. Sort of worked, didn't it? Yeah, like, it perfectly. Instantly. Sweet. And if you were describing your music to someone listening to the first time, how would you like? Would you compare yourself to anyone? Uh, We'd maybe throw a few band names out. Yeah. They're like Thrice, Under Oath, Yeah, Ruben. Those are good. Uh, pretty like, bands. Yeah. Uh, sort of like rock bands, but we're yeah. still really influenced by technical music. Yeah. Like, yeah. These guys got, yeah, got us on the periphery uh, thing. Like, Years and like, years ago, um, brand new bands like brand new as well, yeah. and Arcane Roots as well, like bands like that sort of. But then know, like Gajira as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, so it's yeah, like, from that, like yeah. it's basically try, like trying to draw inspiration from whatever sounds. Whatever catches our ear, and you know that's the, I think that's the same with a lot of bands. Something catches your ear, you think that's cool, that's, and then you try and do it, but it never comes out the same because yeah. people are different. And you just end up doing it in your own way, you know. It's, I think there's been a lot of that recently, especially when we've been recording. Like, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say it's experimenting; it's just sort of going for what it feels like it should be. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys were to run your own festival, who'd you get to play? Oh God, Dead or Alive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Dead or Alive. Oh, God. Anyway. No, why did I even say that? <laughs> Dead or Alive. <laughs> uh, bon Jovi. Yeah, we'll yeah, 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 get Bon Jovi. Yeah, fuck Jovi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jovi nah. can open the fucking acoustic stage. <laughs> 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 Just imagine. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely like that. I think we do. Definitely have Jamie Lennon. Yeah. Jamie Lennon. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely Enter Shikari as well for me. Definitely the prodigy. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm gonna have to go Rush. all out there. Rush. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah man. King's raised prog. on the Rush. Yeah, yeah. Raised on the prog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. So I, I was the drummer. Yeah. And then I moved back on guitar. He came on the drums. But we're both like massive Rush fans. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that's been pretty Neil cool. Matt, yeah. Best drummer of all time. Yeah, all exactly. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That band are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just stupid. And finally, it's a bit of a stupid one. Snog, Mary Avoid. You got Scylla Black, The Queen, or Oprah Winfrey. Whoa. <laughs> this is <laughs> add Avoid. Whoa. <laughs> add, add Snog. Oh, who are they again? Come on, hit me. You got The Queen, Oprah oh. Winfrey, and Scylla Black. I'd marry, I'd I'd marry shag Scylla Black. For money. I'd marry the Queen for money, straight up. <laughs> okay. Shagging wasn't even mentioned yeah. in the options. Like shagging wasn't an yeah. option. You were just like, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm shagging. Like, no, 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 sorry, shag. I'm just, shag. He's, still he's moved straight to shag. Yeah. Yeah. He's stepping it up. Sorry, yeah. Dirty bastard. Right, I'd yeah. snog. Still a black. Yeah. Nah, I'd I think avoid Silla Oprah marry her. and I'd marry the Queen. You'd marry yeah. the Queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I'd totally avoid Oprah. I think I'd avoid the Queen stuff. <laughs> I think you just nailed it. I think that's probably Thanks, what man. I'd say. Well. Silla Black's hot. Yeah, Silla I like Black. I think Silla's the man. It, like the man. I wonder if the Collar's still wife well. yeah. Just because like she she knows how to deal with relationships. Like, oh she's yeah. Blind date and stuff. So, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's queen of relationships. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Did I'm sure all of the scouting the program worked out. So wait, yeah. I'll snog the queen. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, just, but to say, have, just to yeah. say you did. Yeah. That's yeah, so I say, yeah, thanks for your time, guys, and good for the rest of the year. Thanks, yeah, cheers. Thanks. thanks. thanks.